Hello tech people, welcome back to Tech Talkies. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your very own Arduino radar using an ultrasonic sensor. Well, technically, it is a sonar, but yeah, we're building one. Let's gather our materials. An Arduino board, a HCSR04 sensor, any servo motor, some wires and a breadboard. Now, let's assemble our radar or um, sonar. Let's start by taping the UNO to the breadboard because there are moving parts in this project. Then, we attach the ultrasonic sensor to the servo motor. I have this little holder for it that can be screwed directly onto a servo motor. If you don't have one of these, you can use the flat arm of the servo and some double side tape, like this. It should be sturdy enough for this project, but I'm using the holder. Now attach the entire thing onto a breadboard, again with our friend double-sided tape. Now, connect the power pins of the modules to the power pins of the Arduino. Connect the data pin of the servo to pin 12. Connect the trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor to pin 10 and the echo to pin 11. Now, download the code from the link in the description and open the Arduino code. Select your board here and upload. Your sensor should now already be working. We just need to visualize it. For that, we use a software called Processing. It is a free IDE that you can download from their website. Go to processing.org, download and extract it. Now open the processing code from the downloaded project. It should look like this. In that, come down to this line. We need to change this to the corresponding COM port that your Arduino is connected to. The easiest way to do this is to go to the Arduino IDE and check here. My Arduino Uno is connected to COM17. So my processing code should say COM17. If your board says COM5, change it to COM5 then run the code. If everything was done properly, you should see this screen here. And voila, your own sonar system right in your living room. Comment if you made this project or if you need help with it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more geeky projects like this, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Talkies.